Hello everyone, this is Peter, and nice to meet you in another week of News Plus brought to you from Plus Agency. This is a channel uh, going to summarize what has happened in Sydney in the past week uh, in real estate sector. If you're interested in this type of content, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and forward this to your friend. Plus Agency is a boutique agency located in 418 Victoria Avenue in Chesswood. We specialize in boutique projects as well as resales of high-end properties in the north, in the east, and also in the CBD. If you're interested in buying this type of properties, please make sure you come and inquire with us and also check us out at plusagency.com.au. We look forward to see you there. All right, with no further delay, let's get this week's News Plus started. First article, another big sale. Bronte, deceased estate with Ocean View has sold for $10.4 million at the auction today and the buyer has a split plan for what he intends to do with it. This is a three bedroom with red brick, 465 square meter block is actually not that big. And number three, Calgary Avenue. Uh, however, it's looking right into the Pacific Ocean. There is also a level yard with enough room for a pool. Uh, the all has a certain charm as packed with full of periodical features. It belongs to a lady who has been living in the property with her grandma, grandpa, uh, since he bought it and it always has been their home. The view here is beautiful, you know, something like this, even 465 square meters, not on the ocean front, will still attract a lot of buyers. B style 7, which got rejected and followed up by a crazy war and end up over $10 million. Congratulations to the buyer and it looks like the auction market in Sydney still goes very strong. Next go in Sydney auctions, 6 million blowout at the sales of historical Glebe terraces. Uh, 140 year old terraces in Glebe has been captured uh, into the modern era with a price over $6 million at an auction on Saturday, a result that shocked both the agents and the onlookers. In the market is definitely slowing at the moment. Uh, buyer has been more discouraging about purchases. However, Dilemma Glebe Point Road House matched the sale expectations by close to $1 million. Property went to market with about $4.5 million price guide. It was late revised to $5 million. The sale price was $6.225 million. That's just unbelievable. The reserve price was not disclosed, but would likely have been at least about $700,000 to $720,000 below the eventual price considered for the requirement for the price guide to be within the 10% range of seller's expectation. It's built in the 1880s. It's old style terrace. However, it is one of the largest in the area. Last rated in 2008 for only $2.2 million. It is beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. No wonder a lot of people likes it. You know, this week, there has been about 950 property that was scheduled for auction. So it has been quite a busy week and majority of them is sold uh, with a very high clearance rate. Next one, concerning Sydney suburb with biggest rises in rents reviewed. So the rent has dropped dramatically during COVID. Uh, as we all know, the renters has been living in heaven with very low rent everywhere. They can live in the CBD with suburb rents or they can live in the big three bedrooms uh, for the price they pay only for two bedrooms or even some of the one plus that is before. However, that is ending at the moment. Tenants has been forced to pay hundreds more in weekly rent amid the spectacular rebound in Sydney's rental market. Agents warn there could be more rises on the card but the return of the tourists later this month, which now is confirmed, along with international students putting additional pressure on the supply of rental housing. Runs have already been exploding in much of the city uh, after depressing during much of the early COVID pandemic. However, now it looks like a 10% increment has already happened across the board. Rises were significantly higher in the most sought after suburb with recluse tenants paying an average about $1,000 more in vacant rents than they were paying early last year. Uh, going into the ranking board, Sydney's biggest rent hacks, first suburb is recluse. Uh, where rent in 2020 uh, is about $1,938, now $3,000, an increase of $1,063, followed by Bron but Bronte, Corduroy, Newport, Mossman, C4's Linfield, you know, even Linfield, and now actually very sought after. Linfield is a very amazing area. We actually have a project launching Linfield very soon, which we're gonna quickly touch. However, the rent of Linfield has increased from $1,000 to $1,225 already. Uh, you know, that's an increment of 22.5%. 
which is absolutely insane. If anyone want to have a look more about this diagram, you're welcome to leave a message. We'll put the ranking up. All right, horrible. Landlord's $80,000 nightmare after tenant treasures the home. By renting the property out, you need to make sure with that selecting of a good agent, the selecting of good tenants is very, very important. Unfortunately, in this particular situation, this bribery landlord, uh, Mary Barton, uh, unfortunately ran the place out and the tenant just trashed it. They trashed the door uh, even and the outside of the property, you know, rip everything apart, damage the rooftop, the garden, everything. I don't know how that really happened and it just happened the way it happened. So, uh, you know, the landlord has ended up paying about $80,000 to get it done. Uh, so renovation and immediately list it on the market to sell. So please making sure that this is not happening to you by getting the right agent and right reference check during the stage if possible. Next thing, point pamper units with Japanese owners who visited once a year sells for a big price at the auction. You know, this is a unit uh, that was empty for more than three decades, except for a week each year when its owner arrived from Japan. For Sydney's famous fireworks, last night it was sold for a gold smacking amount. The four bedroom, two bathroom apartment with double garage at number four slash 27 Woozy Road, Point Pepper, Billionaire's Row, fetched a whopping $8.7 million, $700,000 above the reserve by Sazabi Managing Director Beko Pelias uh, at last night's auction. The market has never been better. Uh, we are gaining so many inquiries. There are heaps of buyers around. Pelias said after achieving the strong result. This is a uh, in one of the Sydney's most exclusive streets and then it was owned by the family for 34 years. With property record showing it was bought new for $2.75 million back in 1987. Uh, that was a very big price pack back in the year of 1987. However, it just happened, it was sold, and now it was resold again. The place is 242 square meter internal space, which is amazing, and the view is one of the best things you can offer. City, Harbor Bridge, Opera House, smack bang ring in front of you. This is uh, absolutely oasis uh, for you to live in. Uh, that was the word I'm looking for. And um, it's even got a swimming pool on title. How amazing is that? The intro door is amazing with double doors and it was kept in the best possible way what an 80s living look like. Congratulations to the people who actually bought it. All right, next one, stamp duty versus property tax. Uh, how the New South Wales government proposed changes could impact you. Uh, the New South Wales Premier, Dominic, proposed the plan to introduce a property tax that would effectively replace the stamp duty has come under the fire from the property groups. A proposed change first floating in about June last year would give buyers the choices to pay either stamp duty upfront or pay a smaller annual tax uh, when you buy your next home. The New South Wales government believed the change would inject about $11 billion over four years into the state's coffers and also remove the burden on property buyers to allow them to avoid stamp duty and land tax where applicable. However, the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales is strongly against the proposed tax, a property tax, saying the plan defines basic knowledge. Tim, the CEO of the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales, said tax property to make it cheaper was like getting covers to improve your health and well-being <laughs> that's a strong word for it so uh, we'll see how it goes however you know we are wanting to see some change in the tax if it benefits the buyer and the sellers all right last one why not show unit market is booming uh, so this is uh, absolutely great story to tell uh, there is a new development that was launched uh, by central element in the heart of Neutral Bay, the project's called Pienza uh, Development. Recently, a great record-breaking sale that was done at $7 million for a three-bedroom on the second floor apartment. It's got 212 square meters of internal space and 27 square meters of a balcony. The place looks amazing and majority of the place uh, are actually also record-breaking as well. Say for example, the one bedroom at 1.45 million, two better from 2.45 to about 3 million and the three bedroom ranging from 4.5 to 5.3 million. You know, many buyers bought this property outside the area uh, and then they were looking at something of this quality, doesn't mind paying a crazy $7 million even price tag for apartment uh, in the heart of North Shore. So neutral Bay is going up, market is booming, everything is strong. 
we just see how this market is gonna act in and off the plan obviously is now finally back in fashion all right the last of the last is the property that we have uh, to show this week. Plus Agency is proud to be appointed as exclusive agency for a project in the Lean View called Weasley 8. Uh, it's a size of townhouse between 329 square meters to 392 square meters on title. Only eight available. This townhouse built in double brick sandstone and it's got the best possible finishes that you can think about. Some Eastern suburb projects not even getting this level of finishes. Stone walls, double glazed windows uh, throughout, including the, uh, the skylight is also double glazed as well. Everyone got Koya, six meter tall ceiling, Gagnon appliances, including Gagnon fridge, which the fridge itself costs about $12,000 alone. Um, and the fireplace built in with beautiful stone wrapping around it and stone feature wall, VRV system, air conditioning system throughout, wine fridges, storages everything is there and beautiful beautiful wardrobes and three lockup garages for majority of the terrace home that was offered here if you have a budget around four to five million dollars and looking for something in the upper north shore this is definitely something you should check out and should not be missed all right thank you so much for tuning into this week's news class this is peter lee i'll see you next week